Hey, what's going on guys? That's Ups Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel uh, and the uh, temporary set for now. Uh, right now I'm in, a, in the middle of a pretty big move, so this is just going to kind of be the temporary setup we're running with to get videos done, but there's still work to be done, so we're going to keep moving. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this B550 Aorus Pro. We're going to do a quick unboxing, so let's see what this guy comes with and we'll dive into more of the specs. Let's go. Let's go ahead and dive on into it. Uh, like you can see on the box here, this guy is already third gen AMD Ryzen desktop ready. Uh, this does exclude the APUs because those aren't technically uh, Zen 2. Uh, this only work with uh, current 3000 series and the upcoming 4000 series uh, processors. Their AMD is about to drop. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We'll be doing some reviews on those guys as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this and see what all we get in the box here. Surprise, surprise, we have a motherboard. We'll go ahead and take this out of the way and see what else is included here. I'll remove that from its sheathing here in a bit. So underneath the flaps here, let's see what we got. Let's move that out of the way. That's uh, so the first thing I'm seeing here is some nice little Oris, uh, looks like cable straps. Uh, you know, not bad to include. Uh, definitely a little easier to work with sometimes than your normal zip ties or uh, I guess tweezers as they're commonly called these days. Uh, but it's pretty nice to include some little zip ties. Uh, we have the multilingual installation guide here. Uh, this probably just goes over some basic setup stuff. Like I said, I haven't really had a chance to look at this yet. Yeah, it looks like some pretty basic stuff on how you'd install uh, the CPUs and how you would put in um, or put on the uh, stock cooler here, it looks like. Uh, moving on here, let's see, we have, let's see, this looks like an RGB, ARGB extension cable. That's nice to include. Let's see. Well, we have the ever famous Oris badge here. Uh, I said, you know, feel free to stick that in your car, back on the PC, whatever you want to do with it. It does have four, it does add 4,000 FPS to whatever you're playing, so good to have. Uh, if we move along here, one of my favorite things that Oris boards include is their G connector. Uh, this guy's pretty sweet. Uh, instead of plugging in each in each individual um, front pedal connector in straight to the pins, like I said with this, you would just plug it in straight to these, and then this whole little connector. We'll plug into that, so really nice to hang on to one of these. I've really enjoyed using that in my X570 versions of these boards. Uh, if we move on down here, uh, we have, uh, looks like some SATA, uh, SATA cables here for your uh, regular SSDs. Uh, looks like they're straight and angled here. Uh, let's see, what's, what do we have here? Ah, that's another set of those. Uh, we move on to the, let's see, the regular manual here, looks like. And for whatever reason, they included a coaster. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, obviously, this is just a driver disc here. Um, now, obviously, you know these are probably really old, or even older. You know, even this with, this with this being a new board, probably older than what's currently available. So definitely always get online if you can check, because um, I mean most people aren't going to have a five and a quarter inch drives anymore in their systems anyway, or any place to put them. So uh, definitely easier to get these offline, so you can avoid using this. Or like I said, if you want to keep it as a mirror or a coaster, it can come in handy. Uh, and if we go on down here at the bottom of the box, some awesome stickers. <laughs> Don't you love it? Um, it just looks like some uh, really nice quality looking stickers, but uh, you know, for the real gamers, the real uh, strict gamers out there, you guys will have some stickers to go with. Uh, so uh, we'll switch angles here. We'll come down closer to the mother motherboard here and we'll take a look at the motherboard itself. All right, guys, now that we're up a little closer, let's take a look at the board itself. Go and start taking it out of its sheathing here. All right. Like I said, this is more of an overview than a review itself. We will be using this guy in a build here soon. Uh, so like I said, we will be coming back to this one and taking a look more. We just wanted to do an overview of everything that's included on the board today. Uh, looks like we have one more piece of plastic to take care of here, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. You gotta love it, the peels. Alright, so diving into the board itself here, looks like we have a pretty beefy heatsink here over the VR room and chokes. Um, 
looks to be pretty solid here if we can get a good shot in on that. Like I said, I'll have to double check and I'll add uh, kind of toward the bottom here uh, what the um, actual power stage of these were. Like I said, you know, this is just a first kind of overview, uh, first unboxing of it. Like I said, I haven't really even taken a look at this board yet. Just got it in. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be using it in a build here in the future. I uh, just want to do a quick overview of what's included on the board and then we'll uh, touch on more of the uh, big specs. Like I said, once we actually do a build with it. So stay tuned for that. We will have that build coming up very soon. Uh, planning this one kind of around either a monochrome or all white build. So uh, you guys let me know what you'd rather see. Uh, so moving around, like I said, the side of the board itself. I'm going to lay this down here. Uh, like I said, we have our 24 pin power connector here. Uh, looks like we actually have three PWM connectors right here. Uh, let's see, looks like we actually have this. Uh, yeah, they're all system fan. So you have three system fan plugs right here on the side. That's actually a pretty convenient spot too. Uh, if we keep moving down the side here, it looks like we have a thermal couple. Uh, then we have what looks like six regular SATA ports right here. And if we move along down the bottom of the board, that's it starting from this angle here. Uh, looks like we have our regular um, front panel connectors right here. Uh, there is a clear CMOS right below or right above that. Uh, on the, let's see, what looks like the bottom there, you have your TPM connector. Uh, then we have a USB 3. Uh, looks like there's just one on the bottom of this one. Uh, if we keep coming along here, uh, looks like we have two more connectors. Uh, one is designated a pump and another one a system fan. Uh, but like I said, as you guys probably know with Oris boards, uh, one of the favorite things that we like about them is uh, they're all you know, pretty customizable. Uh, like I said, you can actually designate each uh, PWM connector to, you know, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, so, you know, something, uh, a feature we really like, uh, something we like to see added onto other boards as well. Uh, if we keep going along the bottom here, it looks like we have two USB 2 ports. Uh, like I said, some cases still use these or for, you know, your lighting controls, different AOs will still take advantage of these, like the Corsair suite. Um, if we keep going along here, uh, looks like we have a four pin RGB connector and three pin RGB connector. So you can power both different things there. Uh, we have the front panel HD audio right here. Uh, like I said, the audio codec. Like I said, again, I'll have to do a little more research on. Like I said, this is just a first overview, first unboxing. Like I said, I'm not really sure which audio codec they're using here. Like I said, we'll touch on that once we get into the main review. Now, if we come back along the top of the board here, then we'll touch on the, the, the rear IO. Uh, it looks like crammed in here, there's another let me tilt it where you can see it. Uh, there's another uh, four pin RGB connector, just regular RGB connector here. And if we come along the top of the motherboard, it looks like here is one more system fan. This guy is loaded with system fan connectors, Jesus. Uh, then we have an eight pin EPS connector for the CPU here as well. Like I said, really beefy looking heatsink. Looks like they are kind of double stacked over the chokes and VRMs here. So it's very nice, uh, feel very substantial. Definitely a lot of fin density there. Uh, if we come on over across this side here, over here, we looks like we have the regular CPU fan connector and the CPU optional. I'm um, assuming you can set one of those up for an AO if you want to run up to the top as well. And then to round it out here, uh, looks like we have another uh, three pin ARGB connector and a regular four pin RGB connector here. Uh, like I said, standard AM4 socket here. Uh, like I said, you still have four dim slots on this guy. Uh, as far as what, you know, the main difference between uh, B550 and X570 are uh, it's going to be the PCIe lanes available. Uh, so with this one, as you can see here, uh, no fan on the chipset. Uh, this you know since this guy is not doing any of the PCIe Gen 4 work, uh, like I said, this is you know no uh, not really needed for this because it's a, a lot lower wattage than the X570 version because the X570 is 11 watts and needs that fan to cool it there. So this one can be passively cooled. So. Uh, you know, some will take that as a plus because it's not a moving part you have to worry about or a louder fan uh, you have to worry about. Like I said, with standard AM4 mounting brackets already installed here uh, with the AM4 socket. Uh, moving on down here, looks like we have two M.2 slots here. Like I said, the first slot here uh, for the PCIe, uh, actually where you would put your graphics card. This one has the metal sheathing over it. Like I said, for this one, this is the only one that's going to be the uh, Gen 4 slot. Uh, again, as a side note, uh, unless it changes with uh, the upcoming 3000 series cards or the new Big Navi cards from AMD, um, there's not a current card that can actually soak uh, the full potential of even PCIe Gen 3. 
Uh, so you're not going to see any major performance differences over using PCIe Gen 4 slots as far as your uh, gaming and as far as your graphics cards go. Uh, but for storage, if you do have high-end storage PCIe Gen 4 uh, M.2 NVMEs, uh, like I said, you will see the performance gain there and you'll want to make sure you pair those with, uh, as of current, only X570 and now B550 board to take advantage of those higher speeds. So moving on to the back here, we'll take a look at the rear I.O. Get that in frame where you can see it. It uh, looks like we have here, yeah, like I said, four USBs up top here. Like I said, there's a HDMI, uh, a few more USBs there, USB 3.2. Uh, pretty neat little option here. I'm glad they added this to the B550. Uh, this is the port you would use for BIOS flashback and it actually has the Q flash plus button here. Uh, so if you do need to update this and you don't have a CPU in the socket or any RAM in the socket, you can actually use that to update it uh, without having to put anything in there, which is really nice. Moving on down here, we have more USB 3.2s, uh, one being a type C and then some regular type A ports. Uh, and this one actually uses uh, 2.5 gigabit LAN uh, which is actually really cool to see on a B550 board in this price range. Uh, a little step above the regular gigabit LAN that's kind of become a standard now. Now, of course, we could, you know, ask for a 5 gigabit or 10 gigabit LAN, but I think for a B550 board, 2.5 gigabit LAN is pretty solid. And then moving on down to the end here, pretty solid uh, audio connections here. Like I said, this is using the um, more uh, surround style, uh, so you do have the... Uh, little optical out there, as well as mic, line in, line out, headphone jack, you know, the standard there. Uh, so if we wanna kind of look at it more of an overview here, like I said, we'll post the actual list pricing here. I will go and put that in right here uh, of what this board is. Like I said, this is more of just an overview. We're gonna do a full deep dive into uh, this board once we actually start building with it. Like I said, have a build plan with that. So again, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys wanna see us use uh, this board here just want to do an overview of it today and if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below uh like i said we'll discuss more there and like i said we'll take some some build ideas from you guys too if you guys have a certain build you want to see it in like i said before kind of planning uh to go for more of an all white or maybe monochrome build. this one's more black and gray it's got some slight silver accents uh here but like i said more of either a white and black build or just kind of keep it monochrome uh, like I said, I tend to like builds like that as much fun as it is to have with RGB stuff on the market now. Like I said, we just uh, really like doing kind of more monochrome based builds with subtle lighting uh, versus anything else. But like I said, that's been our overview of this B550 uh, Oris Pro from uh, Gigabyte here. Like I said, again, if you guys do have questions about the board, feel free to drop them down below. Uh, again, we are on Instagram as well. Uh, so if you guys are ever curious of what these full builds turn out like, uh, like I said, we will do some montage of them here. Uh, but we do have an Instagram. It's over at Desktops Gaming. So again, check it out there. We'll post all of our completed builds there. Uh, so if you guys, again, just want to give us a follow there as well. Uh, we're you know new on YouTube here, so we're trying to build this back up. Again, I guess hope you like the um, kind of temporary set for now. Like I said, we are planning a pretty big move here soon. So I uh, just kind of had to set up something temporary where we could still get some work done and you know be able to do our pictures that we normally do for Instagram of all these different uh, new components coming out. Uh, we will be going over the new um, 3000 series cards when those release as well. Uh, plan on getting our hands on a couple of those to do some tests for you guys. Uh, and this one will include some benchmarks as well, like I said, for the build we do with this one. So again, stay tuned. Uh, give us a follow over on Instagram as well. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Take it easy.